Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of Gag Reel. That's real as in the R E E L, which is the film reel, but they use the capture films, not the R E A L, which is things that are currently in existence. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is kind of like a little vlog or a vlog where I'll be talking and having a laugh at some of the major film releases over the past few years and that are currently in cinemas or coming out soon. So, yeah, this is the first episode. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. It's probably all going to go to radioactive... Anyway, so, um, yeah, welcome to the show. Um, hope it's going to be a good first episode and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. I'm gonna start off this with The Expendables, which is um, well, produced, written, directed by and starring Sly Stallone. It um, had, also had um, Jason Stafer, Mickey Rourke, he was probably the most interesting character in the film because he's probably the most decent actor out of all them. Um, Jet Li. Uh, well, I forgot. Maybe I should have planned this out better, but. got um, Bruce Willis cameos and so does Arnold Schwarzenegger that's why he took time out of being the governor of California so that he could have a short short cameo in this action film so good on him so yeah um that that's the that's the expendables um you can imagine the script isn't anything special or the story the villain was um in, adequate but kind of bland um, you don't have to think about it but you've just got to enjoy it okay the next film I'm going to talk about is probably the, it was my favorite film of 2010 and it was Inception which um, is brilliant it's a mind bending head loosening thing fan and it's very good it's con it's it's about this um, it's about it's directed by Christopher Nolan um, it, the main character, Dominic Cobb, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, is, um, he's known as an extractor, and he extracts things from people's minds through their dreams. And so he, but, um, this has made him into a fugitive, because people think he killed his wife and all this stuff. And so he, um, he can't go back to home to his children. So it's very sad, but he's, um, offered a chance a, a chance of redemption so that he can go home by this um, Chinese businessman called Mr. Saito. But um, if he wants to go home he has to do this thing called Inception which is to plant an idea in someone's mind which is much more confusing. Um, so yeah, they go for this whole awesome action-packed mind-bending thriller and it's really good because, well for the majority of the film they're in a dream, they're in the dream world and doing all this action stuff. And that, um, so that begs the question, um, it would have been a much more boring film if they hadn't shown the dreams. If it had just been them sleeping, with all Hans Zimmer's music, like, thundering out, like, it's action-packed music, and they're just there asleep. And, um, the film would be, like, about, like, two hours of them just asleep on a plane, and then they wake up. And, um, I'm not gonna ruin the end for you, but it's, it's a... Well, well, you can imagine that, since it's all questions about reality and what it's a dream and what not a dream. You can imagine what the twist's gonna be, or what what the twist might be, if there is a twist, which it doesn't stuff. Yeah, so, um, that was my favourite film of 2010. Another film I really liked was Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, which, um, it's, a lot of people didn't like, but that's, I think that's probably because they weren't familiar with the, the comic that it was based off. It was based off a manga series written by Brian Lee O'Malley. Oh, and the film was directed by one of my favourite directors, Edgar Wright, who did Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. And it's about um, Scott Pilgrim, played by Michael Cera, who um, wishes to go out with this girl called Ramona Flowers, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead. So, um, but to do that, he has to defeat her seven evil ex-boyfriends. So there's all this cool fighting and superpowers and... It's funny. So yeah, that's, um, I suppose that might as well conclude the first episode. Um, I just want to finish by saying some of the films I'm looking forward to in 2011. So thanks if you've stuck with this, because I know it hasn't been very funny or entertaining. But the, the next episodes hopefully will be, because this is without script. I just want to get something done, put it on YouTube, so... <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, see you.
Um, something looking forward to in 2011. Paul, I think, starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, looks funny. Um, it's about these two friends who meet an alien and go on this big amazing road trip. Um, well, um, all the superhero films come out, like four, because it's got Anthony Hopkins in it, he's awesome. Um, Captain America is coming out this year. Um, x First Class, but don't know how that's going to turn out. Might be good, might be bad. Um, well, Pirates of the Caribbean 4. I was obs I'm a massive Pirates of the Caribbean fan. Well, that will hopefully be better than the third one. And, um, yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what hopefully 2011 will bring. So, see you in the next episode.